I just have to say, you know, they keep saying, talk about the forefathers. Well, let's be clear, the forefathers didn't want someone above the law. That's why they didn't want a king. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why they came and made a democracy. Survey says, You know, they rejected it. They didn't want somebody who did not believe in checks and balances. <laughs> we don't call it the spew for nothing. If you like being gaslit, well, you've come to the right place because today's clip is probably gonna black pill you even more than you already are. Oh. Great. Today on The View, they're completely baffled as to why all these stupid Cuban Americans support Donald Trump in such large numbers, since they've seen tyranny before and should know it when they see it. <laughs> so now MAGA is apparently, you know, threatening to rise up if he gets thrown in the clink. And will the Who's Supreme MAGA? Court step in? I mean, we're in person? such unprecedented territory. I mean, for me, I just have to say, you know, they keep saying, talk about the forefathers. Well, let's be clear, the forefathers didn't want someone above the law. That's why they didn't want a king. Like Biden? Yeah. That's why they came and made a democracy. You know, they <laughs> no. rejected it. They didn't want somebody <laughs> who did not believe in checks and balances. And if you're not sure, if you think I'm making it up, because, you know, people like to say, oh, this is all made up. Here are the places you can check. You can go read the Constitution, read the Declaration of Independence, get the original documents. Let me tell you where they are. <laughs> They're in the rotunda, rotunda for the Charters of Freedom. There are only about two dozen surviving copies of the Declaration at the Library of Congress. What kind of babbling bullshit is this? All right, so much stupidity to unpack here. First of all, I love how she just says MAGA as if MAGA is a person or a hive mind. I mean, she's literally talking about half the country. So when she's saying that, she's literally demonizing half the country as sort of like a Nazi-esque adjacent group. Like, what the hell is MAGA in this context? Is MAGA a person? Did we all get together and write a threatening letter on behalf of MAGA? All of this just goes to show the tidal wave of bullshit that's coming your way. The founding fathers most certainly did not want a pure democracy. They wanted a representative republic. James Madison said, Hence it is that democracies have ever been spectacles of turbulence and contention, have ever been found incompatible with personal security or rights of property, and in general have been as short in their lives as they've been violent in their deaths. A republic, by which I mean a government in which a scheme of representation takes place, opens a different prospect and promises the cure for which we are seeking. A constitutional republic, not a democracy. The ideal of a democracy is universal equality. The ideal of a constitutional republic is individual liberty. A democracy always degenerates into dictatorship, which promises government guaranteed equality and security, but it delivers nothing but poverty and serfdom for the people it robs and rules. America was founded as a constitutional republic to safeguard the liberties of the people against the tyranny of democracy or of one-man dictatorship. Well, let's be clear, the forefathers didn't want someone above the law. That's why they didn't want a king. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why they came and made a democracy. Everything you're saying is wrong. The founding fathers specifically feared the tyranny of the majority. And when Whoopi moronically reads about checks and balances off of that card, she doesn't realize she's talking about our institutions, and yes, even them as the media, who were supposed to be a check on exactly what Joe Biden is trying to get away with right now. Because I, I don't understand. All my life, I have heard the Cuban people say, we never want to see that. We're going to make sure it never happens here. Yeah. How, can, how can they not recognize when the man says, I'm going to be this guy? What, what's, what are we missing? self-awareness <laughs> indeed the cuban americans see a far-left dictator with a state media propaganda machine that pumps out gaslighting lies in service of joe biden and his party instead of being those checks and balances that Whoopi was just talking about they've been weaponized in service of the democrat party and against their political opponents exactly the thing that cuban americans and other south americans have seen happen in their countries and all of this is happening just before election and by clearly corrupt people that are blatantly influenced 
influencing the election in favor of their dictator. The problem is you have this cadre of morons on the most watched daytime show on TV, and they literally cannot see their actions as authoritarian and exactly what the Cuban Americans would see as dictatorial because they're convinced that because they're the ones doing it, that it's somehow good now. That's been the purpose of these years worth of propaganda about attacks on democracy and threats to democracy. And so these people can convince themselves in their heads that they're not the bad guys because the real bad guys are their political opponents. And if they could just get rid of everybody who disagrees with them, then the country would just be perfect. And just to be clear, Trump could never ever be a dictator in the modern America because to do that, you need institutional support, meaning all those institutions like the media and the justice system would have to be aligned with the dictator in order to make it work. Simply put, Donald Trump doesn't have any of that. But I'm sure if you do just a slight bit of critical thinking, you can think of who does have that support. This has got to be intentional gaslighting by our government using the view as a weapon against the American people. They can't be this stupid. They just can't. They have to know what they're doing. And if they don't, then they're just evil. They're evil and completely incapable of realizing it. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more.